I grew up in Bakersfield, California, and I didn't really fall into books until about fifth grade. My family moved across town, and I began riding my bike to the um, East Bakersfield branch library. And um, I think I was coping through books. I, my family had moved. I became the new kid in school, the new kid on the block. And books made me feel secure. I, when I was growing up, we didn't have a bookstore in my town. Um, I didn't spend a lot of time at the library until we moved across town. And I became what most people would consider an obsessive reader. I think it's because books could take me all the places that I was not. I live in North San Diego County, and all of my children are grown now. But I take my granddaughter to the Dove Library in Carlsbad um, to encourage her love of the library as well. When I was a little girl, I used to smuggle books into the library. If someone gave me a book as a gift, I didn't always want to read at home where I was the oldest of three sisters and the oldest of all of the cousins. Um, I wanted to have that sense of privacy to read my book. And so I often put my book in my bike, rode my bike to the library, smuggled it inside, and sat in the safety of the library to read my books. I think the thing that is the most inspiring to me about libraries is that they serve all the people. They serve the rich and the poor. They serve people who have jobs and people who are looking for jobs. They serve the successful and the disenfranchised. Uh, libraries have something for everybody. In my writing, libraries become my most important tool. I use the libraries for a variety of things as a writer. I do archival research at the library. I look up newspaper articles on microfiche. Librarians do interlibrary loans for me to get um, important material that might not be located at that particular library. I just finished my latest novel, and I turned in 32 books to the library. So you can see how important they become to my research. I recently spoke on behalf of school librarians in our county. I went to the meeting at the city hall where they were um, discussing whether or not to cut the library. And um, I pulled into the parking lot, found a parking place right away, and um, spoke on behalf of the libraries. But to no avail, unfortunately, um, some of our school libraries were cut. A week later, I was near the city hall again, and you couldn't get near it. There were cars lined up for miles around the city hall where they were also discussing another issue. So I came home and I asked my husband, I said, what are they discussing tonight at city hall? They were discussing whether or not the high school football team should have new jerseys and new uniforms the following year. When a school board meeting has far more attendees to support whether or not the football team has new uniforms or not than they do on the evening that they decide whether or not to support libraries, then our priorities need to be examined. Literacy needs to be our top priority. My most recent book is The Dreamer. It is based on the childhood of the Chilean poet Pablo Neruda. It is an illustrated novel with beautiful illustrations by Peter Cease.